Hello people, this is Mark from Cash Change Works. Guys, I hope you are well. This is number two in the little sub-series, I suppose, in what you can do to annoy and frustrate and hinder the narcissist as far as interaction is concerned. Six little tips yet again. I've made one not too long ago and this is part two. So what can we do to um, hinder them? The first one I want to talk about here, uh, and in sequentially is number seven. Uh, it is be aware that the minute you start implementing some of these tips and you start regaining power and when you start regaining control in your own life, the first thing the knock is going to try and do is triangulate you. That means they're going to employ people who are on their side and in order to try and trap you so that you feel that you haven't got a say. They will do all sorts of things to try and get you trapped. There's only way I can describe it really. Uh, they're very good at these kind of things. So that's the first thing they'll do. They will gaslight you. They will employ flying monkeys, normally children or best friends, family members, these kind of things. They will try and employ them to try and Yes, number no, here it is. Humiliate you, whether it be in private or whether it be in public. They don't care. The reason why they want to do that is to break you down. And if, as soon as they've broken you down, then it means you've got to look elsewhere for your healing. But let me tell you now, deep inside, you know everything you need to know in order to heal. And these things here that I'm giving you, plus the previous one, plus, look, there's, there's thousands of videos on Docs on, on YouTube. Go check them out. These little tips are just a starting point to empower you on what to do. But be aware of the public humiliation that's coming your way. In the Dark World, it's called a smear campaign. It doesn't have to be factual, because the Dark will play the victim. And they will use that to bully and manipulate because they'll be using the emotionally laden language. Remember the previous video? They will use that to try and orchestrate and engineer people, situations, circumstances, anything they possibly can to try and humiliate you. That is the number one thing in all of this. Be aware that you'll be, you will be humiliated. People who know different will be convinced, or they will, the narc will do their damnest to convince people who you know, who know different, that you are as they say you are, not necessarily as the people who know you, to so be aware. Commitment, number eight. Narcs don't have commitment. They have a kinder commitment a sort of commitment the only commitment that they really have is to themselves and to their agenda but in terms of commitment to other people no if the other people play their game like the the flying monkey for argument's sake there's a vested interest in those and there will be this superficial commitment that will be experienced you ask any anybody who's in a toxic relationship what the commitment level to them is like from the knock and they will more than likely say something is very shallow it's very superficial it's on a as they say not as how you want kind of thing because that's the knock the knock will do whatever it takes to keep you at arm's length but not that far away that they will lose you and not that close that you know what they are very tricky game the knock in my life let me give you a real life experience the knock in my life said to me just as we got married about midway through our honeymoon that they her idea about commitment 
and married life was her agenda in life was to get married experience a sexual intercourse and have kids after that nothing interesting so be aware for the knock in your life if you think that they committed to you think again number nine they have huge issues in expressing emotional content what I found is anger hate upset those kind of things fluid but when it when it comes down to positive things not so much so there's a vulnerability so when you're in a relationship that is only negative or neutral consider that to be a red flag however when you express emotional content to them but positive neutral or negative it's a mix match it won't necessarily work it, it won't land as I like to say so be aware that they have big issues in expressing particularly positive emotions because as soon as they have to start saying positive things to you where does it put them good question number 10 it's about them in relationship to the other 99 percent so if they can bat responsibility off to others they will because as you know the the knock has got this um, fantastic ability to dodge responsibility to dodge accountability so whatever they can do will always be I'm the saint here and it's about them so when you find people not taking responsibility for their own actions when they start blaming you for what they do chances are you're dealing with a knock so be aware of it so when you are hearing it you can do something about it because you'll be informed Number 11, the dark things that everything in the world revolves around them. That means you. That means before you met them even. They will tell you that anything that you had in the past, pre them, was superficial, inferior to them. They're the reason why you are the way you are. Quite frankly, the answer is yes. You are. You might not necessarily be yourself, but you are. So when you start hearing people speak about how wonderful they are and how much you've changed for the better, when you for deep down inside know that that's not factual, knock. And finally, finally, as soon as you start dealing with a knock and you realize you, I'm dealing with a knock here and you take control and you start manipulating situations for your good, notice how they react. They will do anything. Like I said in the other video, when that spotlight shines on them everything's going great but as soon as that spotlight turns away when you start getting yourself involved with what you want when you return back to your place of default for your own good they will do anything to get that light shining back on them so when you change the status quo as it's often referred to as note gaslighting triangulations flying monkeys smear campaigns lies isolation all these kind of things will be coming your way but now that you are aware of it you can do something about it 
So when you start taking charge of your own life and when you start empowering yourself and when you start living for you, when you start healing because of the abuse of the past and you becoming more of who you are, where you need to be in life, be aware these things are coming your way. So now that you know, prepare yourself, educate yourself, be ready for it. Because as you know, the knock is like a very hungry dog with a very big bone. They don't necessarily quit just because you say so or because you ask them to. The knock doesn't hear these things. So there you go. Two videos, six apiece tips to help you be aware, take control, do whatever it needs for you to frustrate them. And besides, remember, the narc is the rule maker. You make the rules for your life. As someone once said, be the driver of your own boss and make the knock the passenger for a change. Listen, I really hope that you've enjoyed these two little videos. I think they're really important, particularly if you in or have just escaped a toxic relationship. Employ some of these principles. Get yourself to that mental gym where you can start doing the exercises and get your, your healing process on the go. It is vitally important. Your sanity rests on it. Whatever you think, please let us know in the comments. Please share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, pick call, tell all your friends, tell all your family. I call it the YouTube admin. Please do that. But for now, this is Mark from Cash Works. I'll speak to you soon.